If you're in the market to buy a new home, be aware that changes have been made for home buyers when it comes to mortgage fees. The new rule went into effect this month. KPLC's Andrea Robinson spoke with a lender who breaks down what this means for the home buying process. New framework is now in play for a low level price adjustment or LLPA. So if you've been pre-approved earlier this year or even last year, it's a good time to get with your loan officer that you spoke with and just kind of rerun the numbers, right? And just make sure what is my interest rate now? What are closing costs look like now? Uh, to see if your affordability or your purchasing power has changed. The new rule could mean buyers with higher credit scores will pay more to subsidize those with riskier credit ratings. People with lower income, lower credit scores, and uh, not as much of a down payment, it's making it a little bit more affordable for them. While on the other hand, someone who has a pretty significant down payment and pretty good credit, it's making it a little more expensive for them. Cody Heard with Premier Nationwide Lending explains it's an effort by the Federal Housing Finance Agency to make buying a home more affordable to some after the nationwide rise in housing costs. It was nearly unaffordable to be able to qualify and to be able to afford the cost that you would incur to get an interest rate. He says this is certainly no reason to sabotage your credit as those with high scores still come out on top. It's still more expensive. If you were to take the two borrowers side by side, someone with a 620 and someone with a 740, it's going to be more expensive for the person with a 620 credit score to get a loan, but you know, it's just a little more expensive than it was for the high credit borrower and a little bit cheaper than it was for the lower credit borrower. Andrea Robinson, 7 News. Heard says this new rule will only apply to conventional loans and doesn't impact loans issued by the government.